How's everybody doing? You guys are watching Hug and Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a dynamic island display on your Google Pixel 7 Pro and actually any other Android device. All right, guys, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do to get dynamic island on the top is go to your Play Store and type dynamic island. Pretty much, pretty straightforward. So you guys can see you get all these options here. You get dynamic island. You're going to see that first one with a lowercase d. It's going to be like a blue square around it by Jawomo. You hit install. And this is the one that you want. There's a couple, but in my opinion, this is probably the best one. It already has a million downloads, so it's pretty good. So it's going to take you to notifications. You're going to hit toggle that on. It's going to take you to your device notification permissions. Find dynamic spot. Turn it on. And then you have to do it again. But this time, it should be for the accessibility. Find it right there. Go ahead and turn that on. And once you turn it on, it's ready. So you go to behavior. You got all these little options you can play with. Customize it however you want. And pretty much all there is to it so appearance you can show a couple of these things your summer blacked out i'm not sure if you can get to them but um it's already in the top corner so you guys can see right there which is pretty cool and you can choose however you want it horizontal and all that cool stuff so other than that let's go to the apps and notifications um right here in the top and you can see which ones you want to show up up there in your dynamic island you hit all and it will select all of them so any notification that you get for all of these will show up up there for example um, YouTube music right now we're gonna open this up and see if we can find a song whatever song comes first so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this song and we're gonna turn the volume down so we don't get hit with any type of copyright exit at you guys can see it's playing on the front which is pretty cool you'll get that second notification that's there it'll show up in the corner um, I don't know how to clear it I know if you hit it you can open it so I got one for my game right here it's gonna open it for me and then if I want it to be gone I do have to force close the app and it does disappear or close the app but you guys can see hitting it will open the app as well but if you want to get rid of it you have to force close that application and it'll leave it doesn't work with everything like that way but here's the stopwatch this is another thing you can go ahead and hit let me see oh, hold on i'm hitting a whole bunch of things i'm not supposed to um the timer and there you go the timer will also show up up there which is pretty cool a lot of people will probably find this one pretty useful so you don't have to open the app every single time. It just stays there. Um, another thing you can do is with maps, you can get directions and it'll show up up there for you guys. So you're able to navigate without opening the app. I don't find this too useful, but when you open the maps and you set a destination, it'll show you where to go and what turn you got to do and all that stuff. Um, that's honestly all there is to it. It's pretty easy to use. I know you can go to your apps and toggle which ones you don't want. Again, it's up to you. If you go to battery, you can toggle phone is charging so if you want to see when your phone is charging up there um i see this a little bit pointless but it'll show up up there let's plug it in and let's see if it shows up all right maybe we have to toggle it off toggle it back on okay i saw it for a second hold on i see a notification that just showed up but i but maybe we can close this again let's see let me unplug it plug it back in and see if it shows up and there we go 86 percent so it does show up up there this one is a little bit the dynamic island overall it's a gimmick but again it's a pretty cool thing if you guys really want dynamic island on your android device you can play with it there's some other options you can get on this phone um but i think anything that's grayed out in the in in this app you have to end up paying for so like yeah you do have to pay for it that's up to you if you guys want to pay for it i don't suggest paying for anything when it comes to this app just use it if you want to use it for fun but other than that, that's how you guys can get it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.